everyone. Okay, so now we're going to be doing a tessellation that involves a rotation. Now rotations are a little bit more challenging than translations. However, they do look really cool when they're done. Um, so a couple of figures that actually um, are able to rotate are the triangle. Um, you can also do it for the square and you can also do it for the hexagon. Um, the only one that actually doesn't have um, the ability to tessellate uh, using a rotation would be the rectangle. So the triangle one is a little bit tricky because there's only three sides. So I'm going to start by doing that. Um, so the triangle, I actually just took it and traced it onto our patty paper. So I just used my template just to do that. Um, and then I'm done with my template and now I have my trace triangle. So the next thing that I want to do, like I've done before, is to make um, some kind of design just on one side of the triangle. So I'm just going to make something up here. Uh, let's do... something like that. Okay, so now I want to trace it just like I've done before onto my patty paper. So I'm going to put a dot at the end and a dot at the other end and now I'm going to trace my design as perfect as I can get it. Next, just like before, um, I'm going to start copying it onto um, my original, but instead of taking it and moving it up or taking it and moving it down, see how the, with the translation it actually doesn't work for the triangle because when you move it up, there's a point. Okay, so instead what we're going to do is we're going to take one point. So I'm going to take this point here that I drew and I'm just going to rotate. 60 degrees. So now I'm going to have two points here and here, and my rotation is between, is, is going from here to here. Okay, so next I'm going to actually trace it. So I'm going to take my bottom sheet and put it over my top, line up the dots perfectly, and now we're going to trace it. So now that gives us two of the sides. So I'm going to get rid of this for now. And now that leaves us to the third side. Now how are we supposed to rotate um, the third side if there's no other side to rotate it onto? So what we actually have to do is take the third side and split it in half. So what you're going to do is take your ruler and find the midpoint. Um, now normally we use a compass and a straight edge, um, but here we're just going to actually measure. So I'm going to go from 0 to, and I'm measuring in centimeters, and it looks like uh, we're about 7.25 centimeters. Okay, so 7.25 centimeters, that's 3.6 and a tiny little bit, um, would be our midpoint. So I'm going to mark my midpoint here. So you're just going to mark a little point showing that that's the middle. Okay. Next, you're going to do a design just in one half of this side of the triangle. So if your midpoint is here, then we're going to just design something over here. Um, okay. So let's do... design like that and then we will come out a little bit like that okay 
So now what we want to do is copy this onto our patty paper. Put a little dot here where the midpoint is and a dot where the end point is. And we're going to trace just like we've done before. And now instead of rotating 60 degrees to go from here to here, we're going to be rotating 180 degrees. So we're going to take this and use this point as a pivot point. And we're going to rotate around, lining up our midpoint and our end point here. And now we're going to take our bottom, paste it over the top, line it up, and copy it. Trace. And now we can get rid of this bottom piece. And here's our template. Um, so now if you want to, you can erase some of the little sections here, and here, and here, and a couple here. And here. And you can start to see what um, our template is going to look like. Um, so here, you do the exact same steps as you do before. Um, so you cut this out, you put it onto an index card, and then you're going to use this to piece together a tessellation on a white sheet of paper. So we're going to go from here, and then you're going to rotate and actually um, piece it um, so that it fits into itself. So you're doing the same exact steps as the other video. Um, good luck and have fun with it.